guys, it's Anna and today's video is, yep, you saw the title, Dango Tutorial. Finally, I have um, done a tutorial on how to make these dangos and um, this is the original dango that you guys wanted me to make and I came up with this one. I couldn't get the exact same design as this one I made a long time ago and I kind of forgot how to do it. And this took a long time. I'm very sorry for how long it took for me to make this video as I made this two times but I was not happy with the design so I made it this time and it worked. So and I also want to say a shout out to Villain Spiffy um, for inspiring me to make the dango, a huge dango. And I'm inspired by her looming method, so I've done my her looming method, beasting and decreasing and stuff like that. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on to how you make this. So this design is all double banded. You're gonna start in the middle of your loom. Two bands out to the side and all the way around the circle. Two bands, do a cat band, around one, two, three times. Now you're going to loom out. going to put it on the outside as in like the border so you're going to put it around the outside until you get back now we're going to flip over and of course flip over the bottom four bands and you just grab the bands and flip them over the pin around all the pins the bottom four or basically um, until you only have four bands on your peg like so push down now we're going to expand and how we do that is you're going to grab the top two of this right corner here and bring it upwards and then come down to this bottom corner, two bands, and bring it downwards. So it is like so. Push down and do a row all the way around, including going on here. For the bottom four, and then some of the pins are going to be two, of course. Exact same in the right and left upper corners. Grab all the bands, put them down, and top two, come back. All bands up here, two bands, come back. Push down, and we are actually going to put these again, one pin down, so it's easier to loom. Do a row all the way around. Flip over the bottom four and some of them, of course, the bottom two, so these are going to be two. This is also for the like so, push down. And 
and again, expanding bottom right and left corners. Row it all the way around. Like so, flip over the bottom four and also the bottom two on some bands. Like so, push down and we can start pulling up here. Just a tad. As it grows. And once again, the arm are going to keep expanding until we practically get to the loom size because this is a pretty big design. So again, the corners, bring all of them and bring two back, all of them, two back. Oops. Two back. Back as well. As well, this one. Like this, and now flip over. Well, first do a row and then flip over. So now we can do transition bands and what that is, is the band that you're, um, that is on your loom and the band that you want to put on your loom. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of each and fold them over and pull inside the band and then do the same to the other band and then you um, fold over. So then it's half this colour, half that colour. And you put it on your loom with the colour facing inwards to the old colour and the new colour. So the new colour is outwards. <coughs> Show you again. So two bands. Fold them over. Put a finger through one band. And then the finger through the other band. So it's like that. So if you pull, it will be a slip knot, but we don't want that, and you fold over. So you'll put the um, new colour on the outside once again, and you're going to do that all the way around. But first we're actually, sorry, we're going to actually, um, so just save them here. I forgot that we needed to um, expand. So once again, expanding here and down here. And just grab your band and flip it like so. And do this all the way around until you come back here and then flip over the bottom four and two bands. So now we're going to expand again and it might be a bit hard because of the transition bands but just bear with me. So bring all of them down, up then two back. Let's try to make sure it's, there's um, blue on the outside or your new colour on the outside. Once again over here, all of them up and top back. Like so, push down and do a row of blue, but first we've got to put this up actually. So it is easy instead of going up and down, you can just go up. Same to this one. Oops, it's stuck on me. So now do a row of your new colour, two bands all the way around and flip over. So we need to expand one last time, well um one and then two, so 
Again, top corners bring up and then these bring it down. Top two, bring it down into the pin lower. And now what you're going to do is you're going to do a row all the way around and flip over again and come back to the video. And when you've flipped over, you can also pull, pull up the middle bands. So like this, you just pull it up from the pin so it's easier for it to grow up. And now push down and I'm gonna expand again. So of course it's getting much bigger. Bring top four and then bring top two back. Also these ones bring it down one. Top two up, top two back. And then up here, like so. And now you're gonna do a row all the way around and come back to the video. So now guys, we are actually going to do three rows no expansions, no um, doing anything or changing the pegs, just three rows all the way around and flip over. We're going to do that three times and then it'll be time to transition. So now we're ready to transition to a new colour and of course if you're doing rainbow then it would be yellow. So um, I'm going to transition back to pink. So you're just going to continue this all the way around the loom, transitioning to a new colour and then flip over the bands. To ask you to do the transition row, you're gonna do two rows with the new color pink. So then we are down to the eye band. So as soon as you do two rows, then come back to the video. So we're gonna put the eye bands on these bands here. So there's three in between. And practically just do until you get to those pins. And this pin is the one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. The sixth pin, we are going to grab two black bands and put on this band and wrap it around once. So then it's the cap band on here, like that. And then put your bands over it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over. Just grab the bands and flip it over the... Um, peg so then it is on the bands here and then once you've done that on the one two three four fifth pin then you're going to do it on this pin so grab your two black bands put them on here one two then up and then you're gonna flip this over Sorry, this is very confusing. Okay, so that's right. So that's what you're going to do. Then you're going to continue your row and then flip over ignoring these bands and come back to me when you're done. When you do a row all the way around, after you finish the row that you just did, um, do a row all the way around until you come back to here. And this is when we are going to grab the eye bands. So grab all the bands and put it on the peg that you're about to place bands on and then place the bands on and then flip it over so then it is now connected to the like so do one space in between and then put this also on the peg grab all the bands the peg, place on and pull over and then continue your row and flip over. So now you guys are going to do three or four rows of putting on the peg and flipping over of the pink colour or whatever colour you have now on and then we will transition. 
And don't forget to flip over the eye bands. So now transition. This is a quite a repetitive um, design. So I hope you're still with me. But um, once again, transitioning bands. Get them ready. And um, don't forget to also transition while doing this. So same rules apply. Go ahead and fill all the rows with the transition bands and flip them over. So one row all the way around, transitions, and come back when you're done. Okay, so I've done the transition bands and you can pull your buddy up. And what you're going to actually do for me and for yourself, I guess, um, is you're going to do four more rows of the blue color or of your color you just transitioned to. And you've got to make sure you're doing the four rows, sorry, with the um, eye bands. So again, putting them on the hook and then flipping them over. The peg, sorry. And um, yeah, so go ahead and do four rows of the blue color and with the eyes. So after you've done those five, four rows, you're actually going to do another row with the um, eye bands. So one row with the eye bands, again, the same. And then you're just going to do one um, without the eye bands. So one with, and then one without. And you just ignore them, don't put them on the peg, just um, leave them there. So one with, and one without. So now, you guys, we are very close to finishing this little bye. And um, now what we're going to do is we're going to do transition bands. So transition to your new colour. All the way around and flip over. So come to the video when you're done. Now once you've done that, we are actually going to decrease. And it's practically the opposite of increasing. And what that is, is go to the left corner. You pick up the top band and you cross it over so this one's going down so then that is crossed not like a clean cut you want it to be crossed and then do the same for this one and come down here top two going upwards Oh no, it's going upwards and then the next one is going downwards. So all that's going to be is a long stretch. Go ahead and do a row all the way around. Hi right, guys, this is just the long stretch example. So you're practically going to be doing that also when we decrease here. So keep that in mind. Instead of having um, one, two less to flip over, you have two more because you're putting it on the peg. So obviously these will have six, not four. And all the rest would be four of the transition bands. Oops. So flip over all the way around. And now we're going to decrease again. So this is obviously going to be here. Oop, that is not the right... No, they're still not the right one. Make sure you get them even. As in it is... Can, that's not even supposed to be there. Oops. Okay. Let's grab the... No, the top two. And bring them down. Top two, bring them up. Same with this one, top two, bring them, I'll bring them down, bring them up and you can also um, move this back a pin, try to get all the bands back on the pin, it is quite difficult. Or you could just do this after you loom um, a row. And simply just do that. Put, put, put 
pop it, put it on the peg and then just um, take it off the other peg. And now I want you guys to do a row all the way around. Um, and remember to flip over six on the expanded pin. Once you've leaned over, or flipped over, again, um, we're going to decrease the left up, right upper corner and then the right, no, the right upper corner and the left, um, upper and lower, yeah, lower corner. Push down and do a row all the way around and flip over. So now we're going to do the um, other side. So remember to bring them down. And two, bring them up. Then also with the top one, top left, bring them down. Top two, oops, and two, oops, that's the wrong way. Actually, bring them upwards, and the other one downwards. Sorry, I keep getting out of the frame. I'm sorry. Um, and then do the same with this one, bring it down, try not to snap a band, and then this one bring it up. And it might look a bit wonky like mine does here, but it's just because of the bands, but we will stuff it so it will be okay. We're going to do another row all the way around and flip over. And now we are going to um, once again decrease. So the last time we're going to decrease until we get down to 14 pins, as in decrease this side then this side. So two more rows of this, opposite end, and then we will be done, well close to done. Hopefully, ooh, 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 where'd that go? Hopefully you guys are still with me. I know this design is extremely challenging. as um, it is very long and very big and very confusing my tutorials are probably um, so I'm very sorry about that but um, yeah do a row all the way around and come back to the video same with this one decrease and then do a row all the way around Okay guys, one more row all the way around and then we'll start to close off. So push down. Pull up and we are ready to close off. You practically grab all the bands like so. So dig in, grab it, and my hook's not really the most appropriate hook for it because of that um, grip. Just get all the bands on there and watch the other bands so they don't slip off. So they're all on the hook, kind of. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to move this grip down. We're going to grab two bands. You can grab two or more. I'm probably going to grab three just in case. And pull it tight. Now you're going to practically, you can either do it with your fingers. That's um, pretty easy, but it will take quite a long time. But it is the safest, or you can um, just pull it through. That is much quicker. By doing a slip knot, that is just this, and slip it into the band, and then pull. Don't pull too tight, just in case. 
I'm gonna pop that in there like so now we can fix up this dango but now we're gonna stuff it so you can stuff it with whatever you like I stuffed this one with tissue I'm gonna stuff this one with stuffing and how we do that so I got my stuffing here and it's quite a lot I don't know how much I was gonna put in here but you're practically gonna find an opening got to get one of the ones that we actually didn't ex um, expand or decrease in and there's like the little hole here so if you have two people it will be much easier but just grab some stuff and pop it in but I hope you guys are happy with it and what you can do is you can just stretch it um, and if these are twisted just pull two apart each and then pull them back so then it's more thick you guys know what I mean um yep and you can pull in your tail band make sure that's pulled in but yeah and if there's any like dints or anything that you don't like like this is a bit bulgy then you can just kind of suck it in a bit then I'll just push it in shape it how you want it but yeah this is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos well I just want to thank you guys so so much for this amazing YouTube channel and for me hitting 1k that is amazing I couldn't believe it I was so excited when it turned 1k thank you guys so so much for watching if you guys want to share it then share it on my Instagram at kitty cat loom and just tag me in the photo and i'm all sure to see it and i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys later bye